So you've got an image file like this logo here and you'd like to get rid of that pesky white background so that you can layer it on top of say a video. I'm going to show you how to do that. I have opened the file in Photoshop. It basically consists of two steps. You want to first remove the white background and then second save the file in a format that retains transparency such as PNG, TIFF, GIF or another format like that. So as I said I've opened up the file. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer. This is a transparent layer as you can see because it has the little checkerboard symbol there. I'm going to move that below the layer containing my file. I'm going to move, go over to my toolbox and select the magic wand. This is the easiest one especially since all these edges are pretty crisp. I'm going to, I set my tolerance to 50, which is just a high tolerance, meaning it's going to get everything that's remotely close to the color I pick on. I'm going to check off contiguous because I want it to select every pixel that is white in this case. So I'm going to click on an, a white area. Oops, I'm in the wrong layer. So I'm going to go back in my history palette. I'm going to select the correct layer click on a white area. Okay, now you see the dancing ants are surrounding all of the white pixels inside the little letters, outside. Then what I'm simply going to do is cut those pixels. Now you can see that the black is on a checkerboard pattern indicating that that is transparent. If you want to check your work you can go to that layer one, fill it with another color of a contrast just to make it be seen a little bit more easily and you see that it looks really good. Now I noticed that the black of the Planned Parenthood is not quite black enough so I'm going to go to image and I'm going to do a, an auto adjustment and that should make it a little bit blacker for me. If I wanted to do something like make it white I would go to image adjustments invert and that would invert it so that I could then drop it on a darker background. But let's undo that Let's turn off that layer. So now I've got what I want to save. I go to Save As. I select my PNG format, which is going to give it to me, um, with, and it's going to keep the transparency. I'm going to give it a file name on my desktop. I'm going to give it call it Test One. Save. Don't want interlace. And that's it. You're ready to drop it into your video.